G'day guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Hardcore Minecraft. This is a special episode, episode 30, which means that we are wrapping it up on this little town here. So we've got a lot to do today, so we're just going to have a look at a couple of things that we've done since the last episode. So if we come up right at the top here, I filled out this area and put in a nice little lake. So the I... Uh, lake? Pond. The idea is that when it rains, the water falls down into this little catch, ca catchment bleh, here and will sort of funnel through into our waterfall and come down, which then fuels our river and so on, so on. The other thing we did is if we come from this side, we can see that all this has been terraformed up and this side here has been terraformed out as well. So it looks, I reckon it looks a lot better. We've also started clearing out that area over there for our path to come out and around. Once we finish up in the nether and our ruins, the next part is going to be our inn over that way somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it was, but we've put a torch down, so that, that should be handy. Um, during the last episode, something else that happened was that we found a coral reef. Now, I didn't show that on camera, but I've got the coordinates for it. Uh, I'm going to go back there eventually and just put a nether portal in so that we can get there quick enough to if we ever need anything that way. So as I said, today is a big episode and we are going to be trying to get a lot of stuff done today. We've got a list of jobs that we need to finish off in the town. That includes things like the library, the map room and what else was there? Uh, the guard tower and the place next to the church. So that's that's the main bulk of everything we're going to do today. We're just going to get straight into that and get it done. And then we'll come back for the end of the episode to start our new nether base. Because we are moving to the nether in this next bit. And we are going to be building a little bit of a nether base and trying to survive in there without coming out here too much. We've got two big builds in there that we want to get done. And... We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't jeopardize the playthrough and we can continue living. <laughs> so at the moment, I just wanted to have a look at our days. We're up to 1,463, which is a pretty good effort if you ask me. And I think we're about four months, four or five months into this playthrough, which is pretty good. Pretty good. We've done a lot in that time. So... Let's jump into the start of this episode and see what we can get done. What I think we're going to tackle first is the guard room here and then move over to finish the library and the map room. So we'll just do those quickly off camera and then we'll come back for a time lapse of a, I think I'm going to put a bell tower next to the church and like a little bit of a field where, I don't know, just a nice looking garden sort of thing maybe. I think that'll, that'll tie that off nicely. That'll make this area look really nice and full. So we'll jump in and finish off these three things and then come back for a time lapse of those. So the original plan for this guardhouse was gonna be a circular sort of, I don't even know, circ circular building of some description. But I think I'm gonna try and match it in with the rest of the builds around here and make it just a, a normal square open guardhouse. So something similar to maybe this structure over here but with uh, actual roof on it sort of open we'll have a bed in there a chest some armor a place for the guard to put his weapons or grab his weapons a little table maybe i think that would be the best way to have it because otherwise a circular structure it's just not going to fit in with the rest of the buildings around here so we'll move on with that i think We've gotten two things done out of our major list, which one of them is this guard post out the back here. So if we have a look, it's nothing too special, but it's just something that they can come in, they're chilling out here, and then they'd come out and say, what is your business with the town? What are you doing here? I don't know what a guard would say, <laughs> I have no idea. But he'd come out, check what the intentions are of the people coming in, and just make sure that everything's good in the town. So the next thing we were gonna go and do was the library and the map room. Now we've done the library and I'll have a look, we'll show that in a second, but I need a light up up the top there as well. I've had a couple of creepers drop down and it's not good. <laughs> um, the map room, I'm struggling. I'm really, really struggling. Uh, I have no idea. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. 
Uh, I tried to find some inspiration on the internet, but I'm just not happy with anything that's there. I have no idea. So if you've got any suggestions on what we could put in this room here, leave them down in the comments. I would love to know, but let's move on to the library and have a look at the finished product. So I said last time I wanted to put a roof on. So this is what I've done. I've utilized pretty much all of the light blocks. So we've got the glowstone, the redstone lamps, and the sh new shroom lights. And I think it looks pretty good. It sort of just finishes it off. It, it gives it a nice feel. And we've put in all the bookshelves up the top here. And what we're gonna do is sometime over the next week or so, I'm gonna come in and get a book and quill and I'm gonna write some lore for our world and pop them on these lecterns here. I think that, that would be cool, coming into this library and being able to see what's going on. And I'm hoping that with this Minecraft world, the lore will change a little bit depending on what happens to the world. So I was talking to a friend the other day and said that I was planning on releasing a whole bunch of villagers out in the town, but the problem is that they could possibly get um, hit by zombies. And if that's the case, if the whole town turns into a zombie village, a zombie village? No, zombie villager town, that means that the lore for this world has changed. And I think that would be cool to be able to document that and have that in there. That's the other thing we didn't do. Lanterns, and I think I'm missing one, yeah. I'm only gonna have enough for, that's all right. We've got plenty of iron. It's not gonna be a problem at all. So I think that'd be cool if we had the lore in here. That way we can come in and explore it when we want to. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice little touch. It makes the world feel a little bit more alive. So for the last thing we've got to do, well, the last building thing we've got to do, we're gonna put a bell tower here. I think I mentioned it before. Uh, we're gonna have a bell tower that sort of raises up and when it's time to go to church, uh, the bell tower would be rung. The other thing we've done is put some seats in here so people can sit down and listen to the priest as he gives his sermon. And we've put a nice little quartz, um, what would you call this? A quartz bench, I don't know what these are called, with some end rods, lights the place up. And we've put in a blue stained glass window behind, which is pretty cool. So the other thing we'll do is decorate this little bit here and sort of terraform it, terraform it, landscape it. I don't know what we're, we're gonna call it make this a nice little area with the bell tower. So for this, we are going to jump into a third person time lapse and try and smash this out as quickly as we can. Let's do it. And that is looking pretty good. I'm happy with that build. The place looks a little bit more full now, a little bit more like, I don't know, it looks, to me, it looks like one of those old churches in a rural area that like, is a little bit unkept and, and it's just nice and humble. That's, that's what I think anyway. We've also added this feature here where we can press this button and our bell can go off. I, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this, but I just used a red, red, red torch, redstone torch tower that powers the bell up there and rings it for us. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Now, if we have a look, it's starting to look pretty nice. Well, not starting, it does look really nice. The little pond up the top that comes down into the, our river looks awesome. Our farming area looks nice and full. We never ever did do that granary, but I'll get to that eventually. We will be coming back here to build again. It's just, I, I definitely need a break from this project and I think it's looking pretty pretty good for now. So let's, let's use this zoom for the first time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get used to having that, but it looks cool. It looks really, really cool. On the other side, we've got our dock. 
and our farming sector, which looks really good as well. And then the final thing is over here, which is starting to look really nice as well. I'm really happy with this build. I'm really happy with how all of this has turned out. So now let's uh, grab some obsidian and pack our stuff. We're gonna grab some essentials and we are gonna be moving, let's use this zoom, into the nether for the next segment of this series. I am so excited for what we're gonna build in there. I'm really, really excited. So let's grab our stuff and we'll head in and see what happens. And with that, we have finished up with our build in Serenity for now. We've moved into the nether. As I said, I grabbed some essentials in our nether box. It's not much, but we've got our totem of undying that sort of, we're not, we're not really looking to use. We've got some fire charges of flint and steel, two saddles, I wonder what for. We've got our obsidian, we've got our golden helmet and a bunch of other things that I think might come in handy along the way. So the first plans for the nether that we're going to have is we're going to have to build a small base, which this isn't going to be it. This is still our, this is our mining area with our piglin down there, which we're going to make a much better piglin farm. This is just our key portal room. So what I'm thinking is if we can maybe out there or over there, if we build ourselves a nice little base uh, utilizing the new woods and the new blocks, I think that'd be really cool. The next thing we gotta look at is food. We've gotta make sure we've got plenty of food. Oh, that's the other thing I did do. I forgot about that. We got ourselves a full, almost full shulker box of golden carrots, just to start with. And we also got ourselves a full shulker box of fireworks, almost full shulker box. So that should last us a fair while. I don't expect to be doing much um, flying in the nether. I probably will swap out. Oh, no, I won't. It's too dangerous. Never mind. <laughs> so what we'll have to do is start up a farm for food. So I'm thinking a hoglin farm, and then we'll move on to a couple other farms. Gold farm is definitely in, piglin farm, and a couple other farms that aren't really needed, but I just want to build anyway. I think it should look cool. Now, unfortunately, that's all the time we have got today, which means the episode's gonna finish and that's gonna put a wrap on our Serenity build. Obviously, we are gonna have to go back there for some items and I'm happy to do so. I'm gonna connect up the mass storage system beneath our farming area with a nether portal and we'll have the other areas that we need to go to every now and then for things like redstone and stuff like that. So I'm happy to do that. But otherwise, we are here and we are here to stay for quite some time. So hopefully this should be pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will catch you in the next one. 31, Nether Journey. Let's do it. Bye.